Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Home Depot Stock, how to use uh, a chart analysis more precisely, all right? So you want to use a chart analysis more precisely. So you may say, Joe, what do you mean by using a chart analysis more precisely? In order to use chart analysis more precisely, we should ask the correct question. All right? So the correct question is that we want to use the chart analysis to determine okay, where we should buy and where we should sell. All right? Do you agree? All right? So you are using the chart analysis. Your objective or your goal is to determine where you should buy and where you should sell. So this is the Home Depot stock. And you can see that uh, from 2011, this uh, stock was going up. So the question is, where should you buy and where should you sell? In this tutorial, I want to show you, all right, okay, how you can use the chart analysis more precisely to determine where you should buy and sell a financial instrument and in this case the home depot okay a stock the epic for the home depot stock is hd hotel delta all right so if you trade american stock you should know the home depot stock is a very popular american stock all right so the if you want to use uh, the chart analysis more precisely, right, you want to use okay, the price target level. So you say, George, I already know that, that no financial instrument is going up or down for no reason. So you say, George, I know already. All right? The next thing that you can use uh, to determine where you should buy or sell is to use uh, trend lines or pitch for two or key support and resistance level. Trend line, pitch for two, or key support and resistance level. So as you are performing your chart analysis, you want to use the price target level, trend line, pitch for two, and no more key and support resistance level. Those two will help you to determine, all right, where you should buy or sell a financial instrument, and in particular, the Home Depot uh, stock. Another thing that you can use to determine, all right, or to use the chart analysis more precisely, is to use what we call the Fibonacci price action uh, trading. Now stay with us because I'm going to show you here, I will demonstrate to you how you can use all those technical tools to determine where you should buy or sell a financial instrument. The last technical trading tool that you can use is the area wave analysis. So very fast. I don't want this video to be too long. We can use price targets. We can use trend line. We can use piece for two. We can use a key support and register level. We can use Fibonacci price action trading and also the area wave analysis to okay uh, determine where we should buy or sell a financial issue so traders spend most of their time performing what we call chart analysis or technical analysis the objective is to know where they should buy or sell that's it that's it all right you want to know where you should buy or sell but as i'm telling you today use price target trend line Pitch for two, support and resistance level, Fibonacci price action trading, and area wave analysis. Let's begin the demonstration. And I will start first with the price target level. So you can see here the price form uh, a double bottom chart pattern here. It's a bully chart pattern. And this is what I like to call the nut. Right. If the price breaks above the nut, we will start setting a target. How? measure the height from the low to the nut. This is the vertical line here, and we project it above the nut. So as the price breaks above the nut, because the bullish uh, uh, 
double bottom chart pattern, become truly, truly bullish if the price breaks above the nut, which it did here. So where is it going? Using the price target level, we measure that distance from the nut to the low and we project it above the nut, bringing us to the peak a trend line. So that will be the first place where we'll be looking for opportunity to sell. So you may say, Joe, where should I buy? You buy above the nut. <laughs> Here it did not retest it, but very often the probably breaks above the nut and retest it, or will form the first higher low above the nut. Here it is. This is the first higher low above the nut. You can buy here. As the price going up, it come to this point. If you buy here, you are looking for to secure your gain here or look for an opportunity to sell. So this is another place to sell below that pink trend line. You can see the tail of this candlestick kind of bar. People did take profit here. That's why I'm on the monthly chart now. This candlestick bar got a tail, it went down because people did sell Home Depot right here. Where should you buy? If you brace above that target level and find a support or form a higher low, you will buy. Did people buy above it? Yes. Do you see a higher low? So you brace above it and retest it here. And this is a place where you should buy. This is about using the price targets okay, to determine where you should buy or sell a financial instrument. And in this case, the Home Depot stock. So now, instead of using this measuring stick, I extend it a bit. I draw it, okay, from this low to the first target, to the to the ultimate target level here, so from here to here. And then I will project it above, okay, the pink line. Now we have another target level here. So where should we buy or sell using chart analysis? We look for an opportunity to sell here. So if we buy here, our ultimate target is the target level here. Did people sell here? Yes, they did. Yeah, as a day trader, swing trader, they all did sell here. You see this candle here got a long tail. They did sell here. This is about using, all right, the price target level to determine where we should buy or sell. If the price breaks above that target level and find a support or, find, or display a higher low, we look for an opportunity to buy. Talking about where we should buy, we we'll buy above that target level. It breaks above, it retests it here. It breaks above, retests it here. We we'll implement a top-down trading method, okay, to buy. If the price form a bullish chart pattern above that target level, we'll buy. A double bottom chart pattern is formed here to retest that pink trend line. We'll buy right here using what we call a top-down trading method. Price breaks above the target level. We we'll project the measure stick one more time. For a Home Depot, and where should we buy? Okay, where should we sell? We'll be looking for opportunity to sell here. That's where we are now. The price is approaching another target level, and the professional technical traders that are using the price action, okay, uh, to perform a chart analysis more precisely, will be looking for bearish trading setup here, giving priority to bearish signal below the level of 17137 and priority to bullish signal above it. If it breaks above it, we project it one more time. If we set a target, there is also a midpoint target, all right? So the midpoint target, we divide the ultimate target into two, all right, here it is. So we're going up, we come near the median line, uh, the midpoint target, okay, people will be willing to take profit here. That's why probably came not very close to it, but people did take profit here. That's why he pulled back here. He breaks above that midpoint target and pull back to retest it. You can buy again here because it breaks above the midpoint target and find a shop out here. So will you agree that uh, using the price action will help us, uh, okay, uh, to use a chart analysis more precisely, which means determining, okay, where we should buy or sell. So the demonstration about the price target is completed. Now, what I'm going to use now, I talk about, uh, okay, trend line, okay? Using a trend line, I have drawn on my chart this trend line. You see the green trend line here connecting this point and this point. This is a bullish trend line. Where should we buy? We'll buy if we have a bullish trend line and a price form a higher high. This high in comparison to this high, if the price form a higher high and pull back to retest the edge of a rising trend line, this is where we should buy. 
you form again a new higher high in comparison to this high here and pull back to retain a bullish trend line this is where we should buy in all cases we use a top down trading method to trade it so this is a demonstration about a bullish trend line to determine where one should buy or sell uh, one should buy in this case because we are using the bullish trend line where should we sell using a trend line now we have a trend line here so connecting this point and this point here it is still a bullish trend line but anytime the price is touching the edge of that bullish trend line people are selling so what has happened before is likely to happen again because people are selling on the edge of that bullish trend line we can look for opportunity to sell the price try to retest it one more time here using a top down trading method did people sell here yes they did will you try to sell again on the edge you did try to sell here and will they try to sell here on the end of the black trend line? Yes, they will. And the demonstration about the trend line is completed using trend line, okay, to perform, okay, a more precise chart analysis is now completed. Now, I will not draw the pitchfork tool here because I don't want the video to be too long. We'll talk about the key support and resistance level. Those are the horizontal key level. Breaks a ball, a key level, retest. Breaks a ball, a key level, retest. Similar to the here, there's a resistor here. Yeah, it breaks a ball, try to retest it here. This is about key support and resistance level. We can use Fibonacci extension level. All right, so here we are. You can see that the price went up, okay, from here to here. All right, we apply Fibonacci extension. And if the price breaks above the prior high, the next challenge for that bullish momentum is the 138.2% Fibonacci okay, uh, extension level. All right? So we can look for an opportunity to sell at that target level. And uh, this is what we call a hidden support and resistance level, the Fibonacci extension level. See, did people sell here? Yes, they did. At 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of the prior trend. They did sell here a bit before, and they also buy above it. You can see here, as people did sell here at, the, at that uh, target level, for a pullback to retest the top of uh, that uh, one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level, which is a hidden support and resistance level on the edge right there. Demonstration about the support and resistance level to determine okay where one should buy and sell, or to perform. Okay, a more precise chart analysis is now completed. The next thing that we can use, okay, uh, to perform a more precise chart analysis is what I call price action Fibonacci trading or Fibonacci price action trading. I talk about this at the Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. And I'm also talking about that at the 244 Rest Trader YouTube channel. Also check out that video about Fibonacci. Uh, the title of the video is uh, Price Action Fibonacci Trading, something like that. Alright, check it out on YouTube. So talking about the uh, price action Fibonacci trading is that uh, all right? <laughs> you need to know it and you want to understand it clearly. All right. So there was a trend in first. If the price pulled back without going to the beginning of the prior trend. So we are talking about this session here from here to here. If this price start going now, which level are professional watching? We will be watching the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the move from here to here. So talking about where should we buy or sell using the Fibonacci price action trading price goes down from here to here, we apply Fibonacci retracement level and we highlight the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. That is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. And that's the place where we want to sell. Did people sell there? Yeah, they did sell exactly there before the price came down to form, okay, the double bottom chart pattern. So will you agree that using the Fibonacci price action trading will help us to determine where we should buy and sell or to perform a more precise chart analysis? Yes. Goes up from A to B, pull back, 
if you start going down, watch the 50 percent level, prior to bullish signal below, prior to bell signal, prior to bullish signal above, prior to bell signal below that 50 percent level. Here it is. Use the top that trading metal to trade it. Common settle scaffold. Here it is. All right. If the price start coming down from here, going down, where is the first support level that the professional are watching? They will apply Fibonacci retracement. Or the price action from here to here, and it will highlight the 61.8 percent. All right, the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement level. So, price goes up from here to here, it starts coming down at that 50 percent level that we already talked about. All right, professional will look for to buy at the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement level, or the move from here to here. The 61.8% the level is the line that I'm going to color down into orange. So here it is. They did buy here. And that's 61.8% level. People did buy here. This is about using price action, Fibonacci, okay, a trading. They did buy here. So they know that they should sell here and they knew that they should buy here. If it start going up here, if it breaks above this level, they'll be watching the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of the move from here to here. But the price did not go up more, it just continued to go down. So, but they also know that if it breaks below the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, the target is this level here. That's well. So they, if they sell below that orange line, their target will be here. And they will be prepared to buy here. Did they buy here? Yes. This is about price action, Fibonacci uh, trading. Check it out <laughs> at uh, okay, Day Pro Traders YouTube uh, channel. Price going up from here, now from this low here. Where is the first target level? Where should you buy and sell? First target is the 61.8% level that we have drawn before. So it was a key level where people did buy before. Now price break below, it come all the way here if it start going down. The place that we will look for opportunity to sell is that 61.8 percent level. Did people sell there? Yes. Go back. Start going up. If we start going up from here, where is the next target level? We watch the previous 50 percent Fibonacci retracement level. There was no reaction there. So that's the previous 50 percent Fibonacci retracement level of the move from here to here, where they did sell before. It breaks above that 61.8 percent level we are watching here. It couldn't reach it. People saw it before. Okay, yeah, yeah. But if it breaks above it and it finds support, well, we will buy above it. So prior to bullish signal above and prior to bearish signal below, using the price action Fibonacci trading. So though they didn't sell here, if it breaks above it and display high low, this is where we should buy. If it continues to go up, where is the next target? Well. Using the Fibonacci the price action Fibonacci trading, the professional will highlight the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of the move from here to here. That level is right here. I'll color it now into red. So if you buy above okay, that 50% level that we talked about before, you know, here, it's going now. Your target is 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the move from here to here. Before the price even hit, hit that level, professional Fibonacci traders that are using the price action Fibonacci trading will watch that level. There was a bit of reaction there. Watch the red line. See that kind of see by a bit of uh, no very strong move. I will say priority to bullish signal above and priority to bear signal below. Now price breaks above and find a support after this kind of C bar is, is closed. That break above retest. That's where we should buy above that 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Priority to bullish signal above and priority to bear signal below. If we find a support as it did here and start going now, which level should we watch? That's the pink line, which is the top here. Okay. The, the, the pink line here. There was a bit of reaction, which we mentioned before, using the price target. People did sell here. 
we talk about the tail here before and if priority bullish signal above and prior to bear signal below it breaks above that level and find a support that's where we are we find a support above that previous high where is the next target the next target is this one here we talk about the fibonacci hidden key level remember the one three eight point two percent fibonacci extension level of the of uh, the prior trend all right Is it that? No. One three eight point two. Yes, that's correct. Normally, no, no, that's yes. All right. Now talking about ignore what I just said. If we are using Fibonacci price action trading, repeat, if we are using Fib price action Fibonacci trading, we apply Fibonacci extension of the move from here to here. I did not say from here to here, but from here. From here to here, that's how we will do it. We apply Fibonacci extension for the prime move from here to here, and we will highlight the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of that move. And it's corresponding that's the level here. That's where we will be watching. If you buy above here, as we did, yeah, that's the reaction here. You can see that people did sell a bit here, and we, after the prime went to the target level, as I told you before, it came back to retest it here. So the demonstration about the price action Fibonacci trading to determine where we should buy or sell or to perform a more precise chart analysis is completed. The last thing that we want to talk about, which I will not dwell on, I will not talk about it, is to use the earlier wave analysis, which means you will count earlier wave, you identify the multi wave, the corrective wave, to time the market that will also help you all right to perform okay a more precise a chart analysis i don't want this video to be too long so will you agree with me by using all those uh, technical tools that will help you okay uh, to perform okay a more precise a chart analysis yes you'll use either the price target a trend line a pitchfork tool, the support and resistance level, the price action Fibonacci trading, and the earlier wave analysis. If you if you concentrate on those tools and use them consistently for your technical analysis, you'll be able to perform a more precise okay a chart analysis. So this will conclude our discussion today about Home Depot stock how to use a chart analysis more precisely to use chart analysis more precisely we should use a price target trend line pitch for two support and resistance level price action fibonacci trading and earlier wave analysis the demonstration is now completed if you have any question or suggestion put in a comment section in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We can apply this strategy on any time frame, hourly time frame, daily chart, monthly chart, yearly chart, whether we are day trading, scalping, swing trading, or position trading, to perform a more precise chart analysis. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific a question if you like this video please give us the thumbs up if you dislike it please mark it down if you truly truly think that this is an amazing tutorial feel free to share with your friend on reddit google plus facebook and twitter until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the htw 24 traders talking about home depot stock how to use a chart analysis more precisely was it more precisely for you? Let us know in the comment section. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.